Hello everybody, Andrea Majewski here. So what happens if you did have dental ins um, insurance but you don't anymore? Or you just don't have dental insurance? Um, I am self-employed so I will never have dental insurance. I could if I, you know, purchased it myself, but the prices these days are crazy. Um, for me, it's actually less expensive to just simply save up every month. But I am going to teach you guys how to take care of your teeth and mouth as a whole the best you can at home. So even if you can only afford to have your teeth cleaned once a year, once every two years, I will try to help you guys keep your teeth. But I do have to say that your teeth are such a good investment, trust me. If you can set some money aside to have your teeth cleaned at least every six months, you will thank yourself, okay? Because there's only so much you can do yourself at home. But what you can do is brush two to three times a day. Absolutely. The more you brush, the better. Seriously. Um, but having that said, do not brush too hard because if you're brushing too hard three times a day, you can actually cause more damage because you don't want to thin your enamel um, and your um, gums around the teeth, you do, you, you do not want to thin those either. So don't brush too hard. Always use a soft toothbrush um, or an electric toothbrush. So I do love electric toothbrushes, but if you don't want one, then a soft manual toothbrush will do the trick. Another thing is use mouthwash, okay? I prefer the ones with no alcohol just because it doesn't sting um, and you don't need, need the alcohol, by the way. You, you, you like really, really don't. Um, we used to think that, well, everybody, used to think that if you're using mouthwash and it actually stings, that it's that it's helping and that it's killing the bacteria. And no, that's not the case. <laughs> so use an alcohol-free mouthwash twice a day. Um, if you have cold sensitive teeth, as an example, use mouthwash first and then brush with toothpaste after that, because I want that, that um, toothpaste to really help to protect those, those um, teeth. But if you do not have any teeth issues per se, then use mouthwash last. So brush first and then use the mouthwash. The key with mouthwash is, is you should be using it for at least 30 seconds, like this, <laughs> 30 seconds. Any less, it won't really work. So 30 seconds, you guys, please brush two to three times a day, use mouthwash twice a day, morning and night. And guess what else I'm going to tell you? I know. Make sure to go in between the teeth. I like to use a water pick actually. Yes, me. So I use a water pick probably after every meal because it's just so much easier to use that. And, and that does help to get things out from in between the teeth because that's where problems start. It is. In between the teeth, that is where problems start. That is how people get cavities. That is how um, you might say, oh, my gums are starting to bleed. How the heck did that happen? It's probably because you have not been cleaning in between the teeth. Um, and I use the floss about four to five times a week. So yes, I do still do that. In a perfect world, use the floss every day but that's hard for like 99% of the population. So invest in a water pick. It doesn't have to be expensive. I can actually leave a link for you guys on the bottom. I purchased mine from Amazon. Um, depending on the one you purchase, it could be $30, it could be $50. You don't need like a $90 water pick, no. Um, quick tips on a, um, a water pick are, do not get ones that accept um, the batteries because the power does not last. Um, purchase one that you have to plug in to charge, okay? I prefer a cordless one just because I can take it, it anywhere and it takes up less room on my on my um, counter, but that's, but that's up to you. Um, what else? No, that's pretty much the key, you guys. And of course, eat as healthy as possible because if you're, if you're eating like chips and pops, um, pop and pizza and yummy stuff like that, but that's not good for your teeth. And the more acidic um, foods you have, that does start to wear away at the enamel. Um, if you clench your teeth at night, you do need a night guard. I'm sorry, but yes, you do. 
go see your um, dental hygienist to get a night guard because that can wear away the teeth so fast that before you know it, you won't have any teeth left. Like they will be tiny and or really thin enamel and you can't bring that back. So if you clench your teeth, if you wake up in the morning and you're kind of like, oh, I'm really sore here or like here, you probably clench your teeth, you need a night guard. If you go to the store to get like a preformed night guard, they're not nearly as good. They do work, but if it doesn't fit you properly because either your mouth is too big, too small, you can actually hurt this area even more because it has to overcompensate, you know, for this mouth guard that doesn't fit properly. So be careful. Um, I hope that helps you guys. Let me know if you have any questions. It is so nice to see everybody's comments and I'll see you guys in the next one.